Denmark is a beautiful country. From its coastal vistas, to its wonderful landscapes, to its harbor views. And this is not new information. Denmark and its artists have been celebrating its beauty throughout its history. And never has that beauty been so evident as in the art produced in the first half of the 19th century. I'm lucky enough to be outside the Metropolitan Museum in New York City where there is a Danish art show, Beyond the Light. The exhibition Beyond the Light brought together some 30 paintings and some 70 drawings. But before we get to the great works of art in the exhibit, a quick shout out to the new Carlsberg Foundation which helped out with this exhibit because they use their profits from producing and selling beers for cultural purposes. I like Carlsberg. It's a good tasting beer and I like it even better because it's a smart and caring beer and obviously likes great works of art. Yes, the art in this exhibit was magnificent, capturing the beauty of Denmark, the Danish coastlines and the expanse of Copenhagen and its harbor and vitality and intelligence of the Danish people. But what stood out to me when I went through this exhibit is how resilient Denmark and the Danish people are. Because these artists didn't just paint pretty paintings. They looked inwards. These artists, writers and intellectuals and scientists used their skill and imagination at this low point in Danish history to look inwards and discover what made Denmark, Denmark. What made the people resilient and so unique. Because the beginning of the 19th century, the first half of the 19th century was a low point for Denmark. These were not the glory days of Denmark. Because if you were in Denmark and you were in the first half of the 19th century, you would be singing Bruce Springsteen's song, Glory Days, They Have Passed You By. Glory Days in the wink of a young girl's smile or wink of, a, I don't know, whatever, but they were gone because the Danish people, the Denmark nation was no longer Vikings that were marauding and conquering and dominated and influenced a good deal of the known world. Because at the end of the 18th century, Denmark was confronted with circumstances beyond its control. Because of its strategic position in the North and Baltic Sea, Denmark's allegiance during the Napoleonic War was of critical importance. And the British Navy, led by Horatio Nelson, bombarded Copenhagen twice. First in 1801 and then in 1807, in which the British Navy mercilessly shelled the city, destroyed its cathedral, its university and thousands of homes. And just to add insult to injury, the British Navy commandeered Denmark's merchant fleet to use for themselves. Needless to say, Denmark and its people were devastated. And just when you thought it could get, co and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it got worse because Denmark then sided with Napoleon. And we all know what happened with Napoleon. And if you side with a losing horse, well, that's going to put you in a very difficult position. Denmark went bankrupt and Denmark had to give Norway to Sweden. Does it get any worse? Something had to be done. The nation psyche had to be repaired. And that's what these artists and the people around the artistic community dedicated themselves to. As the Met Museum stated on its website, Danish artists forged a close-knit community during this time, and the artworks they created explore notions of place, identity, and belonging, and what it means to travel and return home. Gosh darn, I love fancy museum talk, because if the paintings don't wow you, this kind of lyrical, almost poetry, will. Led by the great Danish art historian Niels Loritz Hohen, depicted in this painting by Willem Morsted Hohen, who along with the archaeologist 
Christian Jorgensen Thompson brought prominence to the Royal Gallery of Paintings, now known as the National Gallery of Denmark, and they acquired artworks by contemporary artists. From the artist C.W. Eckersberg, the sketch A Window in the Artist's Studio. From the artist Johann Thomas Lundby, a beautiful landscape of the coastline of Denmark. And from Christian Kobke, a view of Copenhagen, looking over the ramparts that were built to defend the city. Hoyen believed that these artworks expressed the basic features of Denmark and its people. And these artists, along with scientists, writers, and intellectuals, they were able to create a national narrative that helped put Denmark back, maybe not on the path to greatness and world domination, but certainly brought a cohesion to the country that helped them overcome what happened in the first half of the 19th century and also what was going to happen because then if you thought Napoleon was bad then you got to deal with the Germans and the war of 1864. Then World War I, the German occupation of World War II and to develop a cohesive national identity and psyche that has led them to become one of the happiest, most content, and wonderful places to live. Now, the show may be over at the Met, but it is traveling to Los Angeles and will be housed in the Getty Museum. So if you have the chance, I recommend seeing it. All right, that was a great show. It was not a big show, but it was a big show. And like the country of Denmark, which is not a big country, but it is a big country. Denmark didn't just become one of the happiest nations out of the blue. And there are some people who think that the moment that happened was at this moment in time in the early part of the 19th century. People are always looking for a myth of origin. But Denmark and its psyche did not just start then. It started Years and years ago, it's one of the oldest nations. It started in the Bronze Age and moved to the Vikings and slowly evolved into what we see today. So, to say there was one distinct point that created this resilient Danish character, I would find difficult to believe. But, if you want to say that the artwork from this exhibit and this period of time was a necessary part of the evolution of the Danish character, well, I'd wholeheartedly have to agree with you on that one. Thank you kindly.